Hey guys, so this is the first part of my vinyl collection series where I'm going to be just showing you all what I've got and what I'll be collecting and what I want to get. Um, I thought I'd start off this collection with the records that I've got that are by contemporary modern artists. The first album I want to show you is Imagine Dragons Night Visions. Now this is my favourite album from Imagine Dragons, it's their first album. Honestly, I love all the songs from Side A. I'll be honest, I haven't really heard anything from Side B. Side A is basically their most famous songs from this album, so Radioactive, Tiptoe, It's Time, Demons, On Top of the World and Amsterdam. I don't play this LP a lot and there's a big reason. So the major problem with this record is that Radioactive skips like throughout the whole song so i got this for christmas 2015 i believe and when i got it and i first played it radioactive skipped constantly so we sent it back got a new one it did the same thing sent that back got this one my third copy and it still skips i checked online apparently this pressing has a huge issue with radioactive i think it may be just because like the bass or the drums are just so loud so loud so loud that it causes the needle like the vibrations of the loudness cause the needle to jump and skip over i'm not a huge expert on that sort of thing that's more of just a guess an educated guess um but yeah so it kind of makes listening to radioactive unbearable and radioactive is one of my favorite tracks from this album so it's kind of a bummer again it is more of a pressing issue than anything so if they ever like re-release this and they fix that problem i will definitely buy it um because this is an amazing album and it deserves to be played everything else plays fine i absolutely love this album it's time and tiptoe and on top of the world are just oh, some of my favorite tracks honestly love this album to pieces the next album i want to show you is also from imagine dragons and it is smoke and mirrors um, so this was actually the first vinyl I ever got along with another record that I'll show you guys in a second. I prefer Night Visions to Smoke and Mirrors and I'll be honest, there's only a few tracks from this album I actually listen to. Side D is my favourite because it's got Warriors, Monster and Who We Are and Who We Are is my favourite track off this album. I also like that this is Gatefold. Like, it's very cool, it's very cool and I do love the artwork that is on like the vinyl themselves. It does not have pressing issues like Night Visions, at least for me it doesn't, so yeah, I'd recommend if you're a fan. The next album I've got is the other our first vinyl I got, which is Fall Out Boy's American Beauty, American Psycho. Now again, I don't really listen to this record a lot because I prefer um, Fall Out Boy's Save Rock and Roll. That is my favourite Fall Out Boy album. I also like Fully Adieu. But there are some amazing songs on this album, don't get me wrong. Like, I pretty much listen to Side A. But my favourite thing about this record is the disc itself. It's a coloured vinyl. This is my favourite shade of blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. I remember I was so pleasantly surprised when I opened this. I was like, wow, it's amazing. This record is very special to me and it's, it's one of my most precious records. And this is Halsey Badlands. I think that this cover is absolutely gorgeous i love it to pieces and i love i love the gatefold image like that's just beautiful the only thing that really annoys me is that um it doesn't have the two bonus tracks on the vinyl they don't have gasoline which is my favorite track from this album and they don't have strange love however it's fine because i love control control is another favorite i love colors um, I love uh, Ghost, Castle, Hold Me Down, 
Um, and my favourite thing about this vinyl is that I got this in New York when I was on holiday in New York. We went down to Soho, I went into an Urban Outfitters and bought it. And when I opened it when I got home, again, I was pleasantly surprised when I got this beautiful, beautiful coloured vinyl. Um, and it's pink and it's, I love like the marble type effect, like the splattered paint on it. I think it's just so lovely. I love the shade of pink. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And what I didn't realise is that when I um, came back to the UK, when I finished my holiday, um, I was shopping in HMV, I believe, and I noticed that I said on a label, blue, mine's pink, what? And then I realised that in different countries, the vinyl's a different colour which makes mine quite special, for me at least. Um, and then it gets better. Then I looked up a little bit more and I found that in America, most of the time, the vinyl was like real pale pink, like baby pink, and it didn't have like the splattered paint, like the marble looking effect on it, which I found out, and correct me if I'm wrong, is mostly exclusive to certain shops like Urban Outfitters. Now this definitely isn't one of the most rarest um, versions you can get because I do believe there is a transparent blue vinyl that you can get from Urban Outfitters. I'm not sure, but that's definitely not the most common one you'll find, at least not in England. So I'm really happy about that. Now the next album I want to talk about is probably one of the most important albums I have and that is Panic at the Disco's Pretty Odd. I just loved the whimsicalness of it, I loved the summer feel to it, the orchestra, the instrumentation is fantastic and I loved it so much. It's really funny because looking back on it now, so like a few months ago I started listening to the Beatles and the Beatles are like definitely my favourite band of all time, ever now like I don't understand why I did not listen to them sooner but it's just so funny because I loved this album this was my favorite album at one point and, and now that I've listened to the Beatles and this is very Beatles inspired and remember I liked I loved this before I heard the Beatles properly it's just funny how I, I listen to the Beatles and then I come back to listening to this and I'm like everything makes sense now no wonder I loved this album. This was a precursor of what was going to be the best thing to happen to my music taste. Start listening to the Beatles. And I've got a whole video for that coming up. This is like if Sgt. Pepper, Magical Mystery Tour and Abbey Road had like an emo grandchild, this would be it. Um, We're So Starving is my probably my favourite track even though it's so short. I just love it so much and then it just goes right into nine in the afternoon. It's very similar to the Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club band fading into um, with a little help from my friends and When the Day Met the Night is probably one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. Just everything about this album is fantastic except for Voking Around in my opinion. It's a severely underrated album. This album gets forgotten about too much whether you're a fan of Panic or not. This album needs to be talked about a lot more. And when I first listened to this album, I wanted it on vinyl like immediately, but at the time it wasn't available. So then a few years went by and then I finally saw it in HMV for like 15 pound, ran to my dad. I was like, you don't understand. I've been waiting for this day. I need to get this right here, right now. And I just, I love it so much. The next album I'm gonna show you guys is also from Panic, Death of a Bachelor. This album I love, it's just so fun. It's proper snazzy, proper jazzy. I really like the Frank Sinatra vibe that he's going for here. It's just very classy, I love it. Um, like with Death of a Bachelor and Impossible Year, Crazy Equals Genius, it's just great. Um, and Victorious is my favorite track. I love Victorious, I just love the sound of it. It's just so fun. Uh, Emperor's New Clothes, oh my god, fantastic, hallelujah, just, I pretty much like every track on this album, this, this album's fantastic, I need to listen to this more. I bought this album recently and I'm just so happy I've got it on vinyl, I've been wanting it on vinyl for a few months now, and that is 
Harry Styles' self-titled debut album. This album is fantastic. It's definitely like 70s rock inspired, you know, like I have like, I get hints of like Bowie and Mick Jagger and everything and it's just so good. And I really like that he decided to go for something different, he went a bit more rock. I was so surprised, I was blown away. Sign of the Times isn't my favourite track on the album, it's a good track and it's definitely like an epic, like anthem type track, but it's not my favourite. I, I think Carolina is my favourite, but Meet Me in the Hallway, Carolina, um, Sun of the Times, Only Angel, Kiwi, Woman and From the Dining Table are just my absolute like... Oh. The next album I've got uh, was a gift for my most recent birthday, Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love. This album cover is absolutely fantastic, it is gorgeous. I love the neon blue, it's just so artistic and amazing. Um, I'll be honest, this isn't my favourite Childish Gambino album. I love Childish Gambino, I'm actually seeing him in concert, so that's, oh my god, it's amazing. I'm more of a fan of his rap stuff, just his other hip hop stuff. So the songs on here, don't get me wrong, I love Redbone and I love Stand Tall. Stand Tall is my favourite track on this album. Uh, the rest of the songs, I haven't really grown on me yet. I respect like he's it's very funky and I do like a bit of funk. I think it's just a little bit too funky for me. Like he does a lot of things with his voice on this album. I love that he sings like in Stand Tall his voice is fantastic. It's just so beautiful and Redbone I'm just blown away. Um well there's some things with, that he does with his voice that I'm just not a huge fan of in this album. However if I'm gonna have a childish Gambino album on vinyl this is definitely the one it's just got the sound and the look the last two albums i've got obviously go hand in hand because you know um guys guardians of the galaxy both one and two have great soundtracks i find it really funny how it's a cassette tape but it's on vinyl <laughs> it's just like Okay, this comes with Flashlight and Guardians Inferno, so obviously I'm grateful for the for the second disc, but I wish they kept the original cover as well, it just looks better than just the characters, you know? Anyway, this album I think has just got some classic tunes, like I'm Not In Love by 10cc. Ain't No Mountain High Enough is the reason why I wanted this vinyl, because initially I just was in love with that song and I literally asked to have this vinyl for Christmas just so I could listen to that song. But I also love Hooked on a Feeling, uh, I Want You Back. Fooled <laughs> Around and Fell in Love. Um, Come and Get Your Love, it's just classic 60s and 70s songs. In terms of the film and the soundtrack, I prefer this way better. Just the songs I love so much, like My Sweet Lord, The Chain, oh my god, The Chain was like my favourite song like, ever for a few months when this album came out. Mr. Blue Sky, Southern Nights, uh, Wham Bam Shine a Light, oh my god the strings on that are just fantastic, Brandy, what an amazing song, I just, I love this album so much, It's and I'm so glad I've got it on vinyl, honestly, I love the Guardians album so much and I can't wait for um, whatever's going to be on um, Awesome Mix 3, oh my god. So that was part one of my vinyl collection, all my modern contemporary artists along with the Guardians albums. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!